Ah, <sighs> no parents deserve to go through this. This is a very, very sad and pathetic story. Um, before I go further, may the soul of this girl, Dina, rest in peace. This is a 17 years old um, girl from Gabon who was studying in Turkey. Before I go further, if you are meeting me for the first time, you are welcome to my channel. I usually don't do voiceover, but you know, for videos like this, I find it very difficult to sit down, face the camera to present such video because um, this is a very, very sad situation. And I want um, this to serve as a lesson to some of our parents, some of us that are parents out there as well. When your children are studying outside your state, outside your country, uh, when they call you for situations like this, we should just try and listen to them. It's not, it's not, you know, always good for some of us, especially the African parents. We tend to shy away from things that our children are trying to, you know, make us aware of in the case of this girl, Dina. So according to the story, this 70 years old girl, Dina, is from Gabon. And she was studying in a university called Mlambrook in Turkey or so. And she has been calling her parents to let them know that she's facing some kind of challenges, like um, racism challenges, stress, and all that. But according to the story, her parents, you know, they said she's trying to be lazy because she told the parents that they should change that from the university she was attending until she passed but the parents said she was being lazy probably she doesn't want to study she wants to run away from that university and go to another university so they asked her to remain there and on a very faithful day they said she went to send phone to gabon through the post and while she was there two men were harassing her like you know sexually not like they are taking her somewhere but um verbally they are arresting um, harassing her pardon me and she also complained to some of her friends some of her relatives around the school um, premises where the hostel is and according to the news there was a day she literally was crying on the phone um me rend le téléphone parce que je suis noir je suis dépassé maman je ne peux que pleurer the pieces in the blue, is a lap of years and a dog, but yet, you know, the from the sound of her voice, we could tell that she was terrified, she was scared, and she was still trying to reach out to her parents. But they kept telling her to be patient, to you know, continue to study. And a lot of people are saying that, um, why is it that the parents did not act um, immediately? I want to say something here as parents sometimes children can be very tricky and when they are serious about something we don't take them seriously so i think in this case though may also rest in peace the parents were really devastated no parents you know should go so through something like this but one of the things is that they caught four men who you know allegedly we are involved in the killing of this um 17 years old gabon girl but according to the news, they've released them. Except for the elderly one, who they said is still in the police, police custody, that's because he is the prime suspect. According to them, they believe is the one who is responsible for the death of this girl because he was the last person who saw this girl. He was a person who testified that he picked the girl on the road. He saw her stranded that night. And he decided to offer a help. He picked the girl up and he said when they got to a very um this very spot, the girl asked him to stop the car that she wants to alight. And the girl got down from the car, she started running. That was his testimony. But the police are not buying that testimony, they are not um please satisfied with what he was telling them. Now, people are saying that they are very sure that this girl was um, raped, stranded, and then pushed into the river. The news that came 
from the police. They said after much investigation, they discovered that there was nothing like uh, no bruises on her and she wasn't, you know, touched, but she died of drowning. So people are asking who pushed her into the water. Some people believe that while she was desperately running for survival, while she was running for her life, she might have slipped into the river because they said she was running towards a railway and behind the railway there is um there's a river behind the railway so probably because it was dark at night she didn't see the river or probably she's not aware that there's a river there so some people still believe that nobody pushed her into the river that because she was running for survival she had no choice and this has caused a lot of chaos in the city where the university is in turkey a lot of students are at protesting and these girls parents in fact nobody no, nobody should go through this the parents are seriously seriously devastated i really want to use this medium to encourage we us you as a parent that sometimes we should try to listen to our children we know they do things out of the box sometimes. Sometimes they really don't want us to bother them. They really don't want to stress themselves. And then they will come up with some things like, Oh, mommy, this thing, this place I'm studying, I'm tired. I think because according to her, she complained a lot about racism, a lot about threats and all that. But at the end of the day, uh, they did not listen to her because they believe she was being tricky. She was just trying to get away from that school and probably go to another school where her friends are. But the, the reverse is the case. It's on that that she was really, really threatened. She was frightened. You guys heard the last voice note she sent to her parents. She was really, really terrified. She sounded like someone who is facing serious, serious threat. But at the end of the day, she wasn't listening to so we are still waiting for the Turkish police to come out with some um, good news. There's no good news to come out from it with anyways because this thing that has happened is bad enough to be bad. A lot of people are protesting, so they said they want justice for dinner. So we are hoping that the Turkish police will bring out something. The man that has been arrested, the elderly one among the four people that were arrested, he has been arrested for consecutive times they will arrest and release him release release but we really don't know why they keep on releasing him you guys know how the police in abroad works if the thing is not clear they will release the person and if they see anything suspicious they will arrest the person for questioning i think that's what is going on the african students in turkey right now they are protesting that they want justice for this young girl, 17 years old African queen, African beauty queen. She is from Gabon. May I so rest in peace and condolences to the parents, the family, the friends, and her loved ones. It is sad. It is sad indeed. When I saw the footage where she was running, I was really, really terrified. You could see that she was desperately running to save her life. She was desperately running for something very, very bad. Anyways, please, 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 I really want to watch every one of us, especially African parents. We are the ones that do things like this the most. When things are happening to our children, when they, you know, confide in us to tell us that this is what is happening, we don't really want to listen to them. At the end of the day, God help us. Thank you very much. Please, you can write rest in peace in the comment section. Ah, 